I used to get really overwhelmed by trying to run this YouTube channel, my podcast, and at one point when I was still blogging, I had three different content channels and it was a lot to handle. So I finally set up a system, a workflow to really simplify everything and I'm gonna walk you through that today. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I create videos every single week for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And today's gonna do both of those things. I'm gonna show you how to show up consistently, but also save time during that process. And like I mentioned, I run both this YouTube channel and my podcast, so I'm gonna show you kind of behind the scenes of both. So the first stop before I do anything is my editorial calendar. And it's nothing really fancy, it's just a Google Sheet. So I have this spreadsheet with date, podcast topic, video topic, other details I might wanna remember like, hey, make sure you mention this specific feature or push people to this landing page or whatever. And specifically for the podcast, since I interview people fairly often, this is also where I make a note of, hey, their interview is gonna go live here. So I just have all of that in one place. I don't have to manage like a Trello board with all my interview ideas and all that kind of stuff. It's all just right here in Google Sheets. Then the next step is to obviously just start recording. So I usually have like an outline or a bulleted list like today I have a bulleted list of things I want to mention in this video and whether it's podcast or video I sit at my desk I just have my little podcast microphone for my podcast I use QuickTime to record my solo episodes and then for my guest interviews I have used zoom for quite a while but I'm actually switching over and kind of testing out using Zencaster for recording my episodes and so far I'm really liking it bonus tip if you want to try out Zencaster, you can connect it to your Dropbox and after you record that interview, it will automatically send those MP3 files to your Dropbox so you can just pull them up and start editing. Then it's time for editing and I actually edit both my own podcasts and videos because my husband and I run an editing company called Easy Peasy Studio. So in this office, which is just in our home office, I have my Just Creatives desk and computer and then I have the Easy Peasy desk and computer so that all the video files and podcast files don't take up a ton of room on my computer. And also since my husband does most of the editing for our clients, I need him to be able to work and edit over there while I am working over here. So for the editing we use Premiere Pro and then um, I use Adobe Illustrator to create my YouTube thumbnails. And I generally, once I'm done editing, I just go ahead and schedule it either on Audio Boom for my podcast or obviously on YouTube for my videos. So at this point, we've done the whole creation side of the episodes, but now I need to promote it. And luckily, both my YouTube videos and podcast episodes are automatically posted as blog posts on my website, so I don't have to do that part of it. Um, and I do have a tutorial on my channel about how to do that with your YouTube videos, and I will link to it below so you can check that out. But even though those blog posts are now on my site, I don't want just the podcast player or just the YouTube video to be the blog post. So I actually get those episodes transcribed by rev.com. It does cost, but I create those transcripts and then copy and paste that into the blog post. So there's actually text for someone to read. I put that transcript on my blogs because I know a lot of people still like to read instead of watch or listen to something and also the transcript does help my SEO and I'm always a fan of that. And the last part of promotion is, you know, sharing it on social media. So I'm now at the point where I usually just talk about my podcast episodes on my Instagram stories. I don't always post a graphic of my episode on Instagram. I just find that stories are more engaging right now, though I will create a promotional graphic for my guests so that they can share about their interview going live on their own Instagram. So just to quickly read recap the process and the tools I used. I use Google Sheets for my editorial calendar. I use QuickTime to record solo podcast episodes and Zencaster to record interview episodes. Then I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit the video and podcasts and Adobe Illustrator to create my YouTube thumbnail. My podcast goes up on Audio Boom, and my YouTube videos obviously go 
here on YouTube. And then last but not least, the WordPress website that I have for my business where I put my videos and podcasts so people can also find them there. I'd love to hear about your workflow though. So if you have a favorite tool, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and check out these videos for more podcast tips.